because they're easy to take care of and I'm not home a lot during the summer and they bring so much color to my yard. So I really love the knockout roses. Thanks. What's your favorite part about Monet Garden? I'm Michael and my favorite thing about Monet Garden is that you learn very interesting facts about uh, plants and uh, different people who have plants. My favorite part about Monet Garden is the plants and to plant them, to take care of them, and see something through. Also, it teaches um, boys and girls how to treat their body in a healthy way by eating lots of fruits and vegetables. And we usually get some kind of take-home project that we can um, work on at home, too. Thank you. So, what do you think encourages kids to do Monet Garden? I think the wonderful volunteers that we have through the Monet Garden, um, Mrs. Lopez and the ladies of the White Oak Garden Association. They are just wonderful and they make things so exciting and interesting for us when we go every month. So I think that's what encourages students to enjoy it and want to take part in it. Wow, thanks for sharing. Hi, I'm Lauren and I'm here with Miss Imhoff. Miss Imhoff, what is your opinion about Linnae Garden? Well, I love it because the kids learn so much about planting and seeds and growing their own food. And who doesn't love to get their hands in the dirt and actually plant and pick uh, what they've grown? Wow, great. Hi, I'm Veronica and I'm here with the Monet Garden Ladies. So, what is your favorite part about teaching Monet Garden? I think I like to teach the children where their food come from. comes from. I like to see them learn new things about plants that they have never known. I hope it inspires them to be gardeners. I think that what they learned today, they're going to use 20, 30 years from now. I like to see their excitement when they come in and tell us about the flowers that they've taken home. I like to see the children learn about the nutritional values of the fruits and vegetables that they eat. Wow, Moon Acre sounds really fun. Listen up all you students from MHE, the humbugs have something new to read. We're back and strong as ever this year, so the Esther Book Elves, you better stay clear. Powers long, Scoogin are back, yeah they're putting MHE on the map. Here comes the sun. Here comes the sun, and I say it's all right.
It's time for everybody. Let's ask Doctor Mac. So, Doctor Mac, I've been having this argument with Isabella about Monet Garden not being important. Well, I'm glad you came to me with that. I think we need to think pedagogically about this and always being data-driven and put things into a proper epistemological framework. I prefer the one by the American pragmatist philosopher John Dewey. I see when any child goes to the Monet Garden, it is an experience, and I mean that in the richest sense of the word experience, so that a visit to the garden for a child is both a taking on and a going through. And that's what I think. So I was right! <laughs> Hi, I'm Senior. I'm here with Mr. Schmitz. So Mr. Schmitz, why do you like to garden? Why do I like to garden? Well, Sina, I like to garden because it helps me relieve stress. I like to go and dig in the dirt and plant my flowers, and so it's a good stress reliever for me. Wow, what's your favorite thing to garden? Probably my favorite thing to garden are all the flowers. I drive out to Indiana to this big flower farm that has many different kinds of flowers, and um, I plant all of those so that for the whole summer I can enjoy the beautiful colors of my garden. Wow, thanks for sharing. You're welcome. So, Ms. Long, what's your opinion on Monet Garden? Monet Garden is a great thing that we have here at Montford Heights. When this school was first built, we didn't have Monet Garden, but everything was nice because the school was new. After a couple years, though, we started getting weeds and rocks and things like that, and things didn't look so good. Monet Garden came in and shaped it up. It looks beautiful. Well, that was very intriguing. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. Hi, I'm Julia and I'm here with Miss Browning. So Miss Browning, when someone says Monet Garden, what do you think of? Well, the first thing I think of about Monet Garden is the fantastic volunteers that we have. The women that come in and volunteer their time and Mrs. Lopez that has such fantastic lessons for our children is just amazing. The next thing I think of is the uh, Earth Science Goals that we have for science and how much the children enjoy the hands-on learning and taking care of our land lab and taking all their projects home and their plants home so they're getting that at home as well. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Christina and I'm here with Ms. Lindsay. So Ms. Lindsay, we didn't have Monet Garden at this school. What other activity do you think we have? That is a good question. Mrs. Sharp and I were talking about this the other day and we thought some fun activities would be maybe a craft club or a cooking club. Well, thanks for sharing. Those activities sound fun. Awesome. Wow, it was so fun learning about Monet Garden. Yeah, sometimes you could be in Monet Garden. I think you'll like it. Yeah. I'm Lauren. I'm Elena. I'm Kate. I'm Julia. I'm Christina. I'm Cena. I'm Veronica.